Hey guys, what's going on? So welcome to changelog number six. Now we had a lot to share with you over the last two weeks, so yeah, stay tuned. So two weeks ago, Tucker Carlson actually released an interview with Vladimir Putin. Now, for putting aside your politics, we thought it was a pretty interesting interview for everyone to watch, but the original was not very engaging. There's a translator who was basically putting like words in Putin's mouth, we thought we saw an opportunity. So what we actually ended up doing was translating and lip syncing the entire video, but it wasn't that easy. So the first challenge was this infrastructure issue. Our infrastructure just literally could not handle doing two hours. We could only do a max of five minutes at a time. And we didn't want to just keep like chunking the video and we didn't want to have to deal with this just to do a one time. We wanted to fix the problem for all of you for the future. So what we ended up doing was we sat down for roughly, like realistically 72 hours, almost 96 hours, and just rebuilt all of our infrastructure. So now we can handle, like we pretty much removed all of the file limits around like the size of file that you could send to us, as well as like the length of videos that you can send. Now we're gonna cap it at two hours for now, just because we do have a limited amount of compute available to everyone. Yeah, we're excited and we're excited to hear what your experience is gonna be just going forward. So yeah, reach out at any time. Now the second major problem that we had was it's really, really annoying to have to use a bunch of other tools to translate content. Like we've been focused up to date just on lip sync itself. But if you have to go to a bunch of different services, a bunch of different APIs and platforms, transcribe, translate, voice clone, et cetera, et cetera. It's just not a good user experience, especially if that's your main use case with us. So to solve this problem, we did two things. First is we actually just open sourced an app that lets you translate any video into any language. Um, and actually like start monetizing it yourself. We partnered with Replit and we launched a REPL. So there's a very minimal setup that you had to go and do. You just had to go fork the REPL and then just do a little bit of configuration. Just going through this whole experience translating this video, we realized that our developer experience is really not that great. We know the API in and out, but a lot of you probably don't. And our docs don't really do a great job of explaining to you exactly like what the parameters are, what the difference between models are, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, we spent a lot of time just like revamping the docs completely. And yeah, we shipped brand new docs with a new API reference and just a lot more information around how can you get started? Like, how does the API work? What are the best case scenarios? Like, just, it's just, we're just trying to teach you and give you the tools to be successful with our platform. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. The best part is we actually open source the docs. So if you see something that's missing, you can actually just like raise a request or even just make a PR and then we'll, we'll look at it and we'll integrate it if it works. So as you can see, there's just been a lot going on over the last couple of weeks and we're getting actually close to demo day for YC. So our, our product velocity is increasing and just a lot of things are going right. So it's all thanks to you guys and all the feedback that you've been giving us. We're on a mission and we're making really good progress. So, see you next week. So we did such a good job that Biden actually came to come and visit us. So yeah, we're gonna go say hi to him at Fort Mason. Nah, just JK, JK. <laughs>